Uh, okay, get this one. Here we go. Perfect. Because it's got Gerard Butler! We're gonna do Greenland. Which, by the way, out of all the trailers we're doing, I'm streaming live now on uh, Twitch at uh, BS underscore reviews. Um, <laughs> this is the only one that I've actually watched myself prior. It said Gerard Butler, and I just got done watching your homework assignment of P.S. I Love You, and I wanted to see the difference of between 20 years, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so don't don't hate on me too much, but it <laughs> I already have my opinions. Let's roll, though. All right. Three, two, one, play. Is this Clark, this interstellar comet? It's a nice house. I don't see Clark. Oh, uh, maybe he's still sleeping. Dad. Some of the fragments are now expected to enter our atmosphere. That's right, I know. What are they saying? More of the same. Whoa! Where are they going? I don't know. One of the first chunks is about to hit. Hit? Only part of it. It's going in the ocean. But you look at that. Wait, where's the explosion? Ooh. Whoa! We now <gasps> oh, come on, John Wick! The fragment has hit Central Florida. Oh, my God. Oh, it hit Florida. We didn't lose anything. <laughs> That's true. Come on, let's go. But the sky's on fire. Two days. They got it all wrong. There's a ton of fragments. Planet killers. Space agencies are predicting an extinction level event. We're gonna get together, all right? Get them. We're just trying to get to safety. <clears throat> Tracking the military flights to bunkers and Greenland. It's the only chance. Move back! Perimeter breach. Perimeter breach. One way three. Three. Don't get one way down! Allison! Jeez. We'll find him. It's okay. Clark's largest fragment will hit in less than 24 hours. I swear I'm gonna get my father in a bunker. I know you will, Sean. If you are hearing this broadcast, seek shelter immediately. Let me see what's going on. Oh my god. If you are hearing this broadcast, oh, seek shelter John, go. I think he's got a red right Yeah. Seek shelter immediately. Seek shelter immediately. Oh my god. <gasps> I really want to see that. <laughs> wow. I I, I thought it that. what I got from the trailer was I thought it was incredibly well done, at least from the trailer for the way the government hid this shit coming down. Uh, because they said they got it all wrong, and that was the line of, they, their calculations were off. No, if there was that size of a thing coming through, they didn't get it wrong. They told you they got it wrong. Yeah. That's why they were pr getting everything prepped and running for a bit, because they mm -hmm. fucking knew. Um, so I really liked that aspect, because honestly, if there was a planet killer coming this way, they wouldn't, I don't think there would be a benefit no. of telling anybody. No, it it's just the... Let it the panic and everything especially if there's nothing that you can do unless you put a bunch of you know drillers up on a uh, a spacecraft and send them up there to drill the uh the comet and have that explode stay awake just to hear <laughs> you breathe in no yeah. um, um, um i love Gerard butler this movie looks right up my alley it looks like fun I, it just says coming soon yeah. so i'm guessing they're just waiting to figure out what's going to happen with coronavirus and if it's going to come in theaters or on demand so that was just the first trailer so i don't we have no idea if we're even going to get any movies new movies this year so we'll see where this goes i wouldn't mind checking that one out hopefully it's not oh, yeah. like one of the uh, those other asteroid movies deep impact for instance that came mm -hmm. out back in the day hopefully it's not yep. that bad um but I, i'm interested <laughs> in it i'm right there with you me too.